we all know that love is the greatest experience in life, that is the most powerful experience in life. We all know this. And out of all areas in sex, it can't be something different. So when you are loved in sex through your body, it is going to be the most powerful thing that you can get out of sex. We know that love is the most important thing in life. We know that it's the most important thing in our friendships, in our family, even in our trade, in our profession, in the things that we do. Even spiritual teachings and religions tell us that the force of the universe is love and God is love. So love is the most important thing, the most powerful thing in all areas of life, except for sex, where the most important thing is the orgasm or excitement. In this one area, where we are in our maximum intimacy, completely merged with each other, naked in our body and soul. Only in this area, which we actually call lovemaking, love is nothing. It is not important. It is something bland. And the most important thing is to relieve sexual tension or to have fun. The most powerful energy in sex is love. And the most powerful sexual technique in sex is love. I do not mean by this having sex in a loving relationship. I do not mean having sex with somebody you love. I mean the energy of love in the moment of sex. I mean treating the body of your lover with love. Loving the body of your lover during sex. Letting love flow as a sexual energy in this moment of sex. When you infuse sex with the energy of love, it creates the most amazing sexual energy. The most nourishing, the most nutritious sexual energy that goes uh, deeper than any other kind of sex into your being. It enriches you the most. It leaves the most behind. It makes the biggest impact on you as a person, on your life, on your well-being on your joy in life, on your energies in life, on your connection with your lover. And in the moment of sex, love is the most powerful sexual technique because when you are infusing your physical technique with the energy of love, you end up creating the richest sensation, the most exquisite pleasure. You create the greatest responsiveness in the body of your lover. You create the easiest and the deepest arousal and you open the body of your lover to its greatest orgasmicity, all through infusing this moment of sex with the energy of love. And beyond just using it as a sexual technique, the experience of loving sex for us as human beings is the greatest experience we can get from sex. It is the most beautiful, the most deeply satisfying experience that we as human beings can receive from sex, out of all kinds of sex. If you want to learn how to have amazing sex, then love is simply the most powerful sexual technique. It creates the best sex, the most enriching sex, and the most powerful sex. When you make sex powerfully, physically loving, it will give you a lot more than any orgasms, passions, and excitements. We chase all those uh, passions and excitements and orgasms but they're all scraps. We are scraping the barrel to get that fulfillment out of sex and we feel how it falls short. And there is this um, great powerful energy available to us in sex, this much more powerful experience that we intuit is there. But this potential is completely untapped in our culture because loving sex is simply not talked about. It is not taught and therefore it is not practiced. So why would we chase scraps when we can go for the biggest return? And this is what we need to do. We need to make all sex full of that energy of love because it is simply the most powerful sexual technique. All sex, not just sex with this person that you formally love on paper, your boyfriend, your husband, but all sex can be infused with this uh, energy of love because it makes the best sex, the most satisfying experience for you. And I'm going to tell you about all of it today. And I really hope that it will change a lot in your sex life because honestly, this is the most important thing that I have to tell you out of all the things that I teach because I genuinely believe that this is the most powerful thing that you can discover for yourself in sex. But at the same time, I'm well aware that when I talk about love in sex, there will be a lot of people 
who will immediately feel blocked to this idea or dismissive of this idea or put off by this idea. To hear the words love in sex or loving sex creates all sorts of visceral reactions in people, uh, unpleasant reactions, painful reactions, dismissive reactions. But uh, people have this reaction because of a number of misunderstandings and superstitions that our culture has given us about loving sex, which I will explain to you today as well. We have been told that sex is not about love. In fact, we have been told that love is a toxin for sex. It's like this rotten fruit that you put in a fruit bowl that's going to spoil your sex and it's going to make it all mushy and yucky. And you need to separate love in sex if you really want an amazing sex life. And this is for people who are in loving relationships. But for people who are not in those committed relationships with the love of their life because they haven't met that person yet, or they're just dating, or maybe they don't want to be in that kind of relationship, love in sex is demonized by our culture. First of all, it is despised by our culture. There is a lot of contempt. Uh, having sex with love in it is seen as really bland and boring and, you know, uh, Victorian. What is this about? It's really uncool. <clears throat> you know, BDSM is cool. And then secondly, love in sex is demonized by our culture. It is this evil monster under the bed. You know, you shouldn't talk to strangers, so you shouldn't try to have some kind of loving sex with somebody you don't know very well, somebody you haven't background checked five times, who hasn't committed their whole life to you. Because if you do, they can possess you, they can enslave you, they can destroy you. So you can have loving sex, but you have to have it in a maximum security relationship with a triple fence around it when somebody has committed their whole life to you. And this is all complete rubbish. You don't need to be scared by these superstitions. Who is saying that? Who has experienced that? Where is the data? There has never been loving sex in our culture to come up with that data. It is a beautiful experience. You have a choice to make sex mechanical work, to make sex disconnected, or to have a beautiful, soulful experience. So things might not be the way that you have thought of them so far. So stay open-minded. Stay with me. So when I talk about love in sex as this power and this energy and this enrichment, I'm not talking about having sex with somebody you love. That is a completely different area entirely. It has nothing to do with loving sex. Because this is the connection that a lot of people might go to straight away. They might hear love in sex and they might immediately think, well, that means I love this person, I'm in a loving relationship with them, and because I love them, I feel that in sex, and that makes sex more loving, that brings love into sex. And actually, whether you are in a loving relationship with the person you love makes no difference at all to how loving sex will be. Your loving relationship does not translate into loving sex. It doesn't cross over. Loving your partner does not bring love into sex. It does not make loving sex. I know this is a radical idea, but you will see, you will understand it, as I will explain it later. Having sex with somebody you love is just having sex with somebody you love. Then it becomes about what you're actually doing in sex, what you're making out of sex. And you can make all sorts of sex, because when you enter sex, you start acting from your beliefs about sex, what you should be doing in sex, what is the right thing to do here and how to do it. And this is where the experience of sex comes from. And this is why that myth that when you meet somebody you love, you're going to have loving sex with them, that completely doesn't work. Because what normally happens is that when we meet somebody we love, we just have the same kind of sex with them as we had with everybody else we didn't, in quotation marks, love. There is a potential, of course, to make it really powerfully loving sex that will be good for you, but it could also be anything else. And uh, actually, from my experience, the majority of people who are in loving relationships, who love each other, they don't have loving sex. Their sex has no feelings of love in it. And I will explain to you later why that happens as well. There are very obvious good reasons for it. It might not necessarily be conflictual, but it just feels unloving. It feels maybe mechanical, maybe routine, maybe it feels lifeless, maybe it feels like a chore, maybe it feels um, like, you know, they're having some fun and excitement and they get to come, but they don't feel that love and connection in sex. And yet they are in a very loving relationship with each other and they really love each other. And if I had a dollar for every time uh, when I worked with a couple who said, we are best friends, we really love each other, but our sex is really painful, it is really traumatic, 
there is this great disconnect and we just really want to fix this part of our lives. And likewise, love in sex is the greatest energy, the most powerful energy and technique for everybody, including if you are not in a long-term relationship with somebody uh, like a life partner and you don't want to be maybe, you can also absolutely have these full powerful experiences of loving sex in your life and you don't need to feel excluded like uh, this belongs only to the exclusive club of uh, people who have found the love of the life. With a reasonable provision of course that it is with somebody who is aligned with you, who is also up for it, uh, is also into it. Love in sex doesn't come from the kind of relationship you have because love in sex means something completely different from what love means in your relationship. It is something entirely different. Sex is a physical space. It is a space of physical feelings in the moment, of energy in that moment. So um, all the intellectual stuff doesn't make any influence. All your history together, your commitments, your alignment of your personalities, uh, all of that doesn't translate. It just does not mean anything in the space of sex. Love in sex is a real energy in this moment that we are creating from our physical contact, but also from our emotional intention. Love in sex is when you're making your lover feel loved in their body right now. You are loving their body. Their body feels loved by you. Whatever you're doing feels loving to their body. You feel loved in sex, not because your partner has been with you for 20 years and because, you know, they are a great father, etc., but because right now, your body feels loved by them. You feel their love flowing into your body. You feel that whatever they are doing feels loving to you and your body perceives that. So love in sex is the energy that we create in this moment. It is the emotional energy that we are putting into the physical contact to make our lovers feel loved in their body, to transmit that physical love to them. It is the emotional energy in the physical contact that we read from our lovers and we absorb and drink from our lovers. It is an energy in your physical technique. It is a quality in your physical technique. It is a layer in your physical technique. It is the spirit within the mechanics. It is a real, tangible, physical feeling. So love in sex is a real physical energy. And consequently, it is a real sexual technique. It is something we do. And it is absolutely intentional. It is not natural because what you're going to do naturally is whatever Cosmopolitan has told you to do, to, to work it to the orgasm, to make it fun, to try to get really horny. No, it is intentional. You intentionally want to send love, to make your lover's body feel really loved, to give them that really powerful physical love. So it is an emotional technique within the physical technique that you are using. So everything from your relationship doesn't matter. The question is, can you create this loving energy right now? Can you make your partner's body feel loved right now? Or are you making their body feel used or worked or rubbed or whatever? Now, our bodies have this really incredible, mind-blowing capacity to actually speak to each other with physical love, to transmit to each other physical love and to really benefit from it, to really receive physical love with really profound effects. And this is a capacity that, you know, I, I think a lot of people don't know about. I've only discovered it by working with people for 20 years and just observing what's happening. But it's a completely unknown capacity in our culture. Your body has a real capacity to speak to the body of your lover with love, to make them feel loved, to transmit that physical love. And this is a real thing. It is a totally a real thing. This is a real communication between bodies. And likewise, your whole system has an incredible capacity to feel physically loved, to perceive physical love. And your system is actually really responsive to it. It is really attuned to that. It can really feel uh, when uh, your body is physically loved and it drinks so deeply from it. It goes so deep into your system. It does so many wonderful things for you. The body is really responsive. Um, the body is really alive uh, when it feels physically loved and it's really, really nourished. And uh, when I say the body, obviously I'm not talking about a vacant body. You as a system, your psyche in uh, the body is feeling all that, is, is receiving all that. Uh, now we have the stereotypes in our culture that love in sex 
is something really lovey-dovey and really slow and sensual and light. It's looking into each other's eyes and it's brushing fingers pensively on the skin lightly and it's giving a sensual massage. And these are all little caricatures because our culture actually doesn't know loving sex. It has never existed in our culture. These are all just um, uh, parts, snippets of the lore of the mythology. Our culture has completely no practice of real sexual love as a sexual technique. It is never taught anywhere. It is never talked about. We have a million techniques for how to make each other calm, million techniques for BDSM. We don't have a single practice on how to have loving sex. So people might feel that they have tried loving sex and it felt a bit bland and it didn't do anything for them. Or they have absorbed this expectation that love in sex is going to be something really cringy and lovey-dovey. And it's true if you're doing these little caricatures of brushing fingers on the skin and looking into each other's eyes, uh, they are going to be really sexually impotent. That is not what love in sex really is. Love is the greatest positive force in the world. Love is the greatest positive force in a human being. And it is the same in sex. There is nothing cute or fluffy or cuddly about love in sex. It is not some angelic thing that people do when they are too shy to have proper sex. Love in sex is a really powerful act of loving your partner's body with full sexualness in all its different expressions. So there are lots of different colors and frequencies of love in sex, and they are all really powerful and nourishing for you. You can have loving sex that is tremendously erotic. It can be really drowning and savoring in the beauty and sexiness of your lover's body. And it will feel enormously loving for uh, your lover, but at the same time, nothing will make your lover feel more sexy and turned on. You can have really intense sex, really passionate sex, really vigorous sex that feels intensely loving if you know how to bring that energy of love into this moment, into this kind of sex. There is also another kind of love in sex that is far more calm and far more deep. In that calm space, love is a really powerful physical nurturing energy that feeds your lover, that you really transmit through your body. And even though it is very calm physically, it can be enormously powerful. It goes really deep into you. It is really revitalizing, life-giving. It can really shift how you feel. It can really make your day. So even when love is in a cuddle, there is nothing cute or fluffy about it. It is still an enormously powerful force. So like I said before, when we infuse our sexual technique, our physical contact with that energy of love, that intention of love, then our bodies actually have an enormous capacity to communicate that feeling of love to the body of our lover. And what happens then is that you start sending a lot more than just a sensation, just a, a pleasure. You are sending real energy here. It becomes real sexual energy. There is still that sensation that feels really beautiful, but there is something more in it. It feels more nutritious somehow in this moment. It has more power. It has more richness. It feels somehow more nourishing. It is difficult to describe that you will feel it with your senses, that there is more happening here. It is some kind of a feeling of multidimensional, multilayered uh, energy in this moment. It is as though our nervous system gets nourished much deeper in all the important deep places of our psyche. Which is no surprise because, you know, we're talking about love here. What is more powerful, more therapeutic, more profound for a human being than to receive love? And this feels amazingly beautiful in the moment, in lots of variations of that moment, because like I said, there are different kinds of love that you could be experiencing throughout the sex act. But also, it leaves that real enrichment from sex. After sex, you feel so much more nourished and alive and sparkly because you have been loved in sex, much more than if you just receive some pleasure or you, you know, your partner made you come. The other thing that happens is that love in sex is the most effective sexual technique, both for the giver and for the receiver. You know, when you're treating the body with love, when you're treating your partner's body with love, the body is intelligent. It has this intelligence of an animal or a child, you know, where, you know, you just can't fool it. It knows when it is loved. It knows when you're just trying to work it somewhere. It knows when you are using it. It just knows. So when the body feels loved, it feels really happy and it really responds. 
and the body feels more. It becomes more sensitive. It feels more pleasure. It gets aroused more easily and much more profoundly. So love just really activates the sexual body much more than if you were just rubbing it and stimulating it. To the extent that uh, I have explored in my practice with clients that there are even some orgasmic experiences of a certain kind that can only happen when the body is loved. That is the only doorway to them. And generally speaking, the orgasmicity in the body, all kinds of orgasms in the body are far more easily accessed when the body is loved. Now, obviously, it is partially the body is reacting subconsciously, but it is also you because uh, your senses are being activated. You feel loved. You feel adored. You feel beautiful. You feel that your partner is really loving your body. So all of this subconsciously is acting on you and you are relaxing and you are letting go and you are feeling happy. And that's why you are flowing a lot more with your sexual energy. There is just no possible reason to do something without love and sex because what would you do? You would use the same technique, but you would use it mechanically. You would use it repetitively, monotonously, without any feeling in it. And for the person who is performing the technique, if we kind of break it down like this, uh, investing your love into the technique makes you a much better lover. Because if you're stimulating something mechanically, just trying to do it right, then uh, it's going to be a lot more lifeless then if you're really loving the body of your lover, you're just going to be more creative. Uh, you're going to feel the body more. You're going to give more to the body. Love is just the best sexual technique. Get good at it. But love is also an experience. In life, love is a beautiful experience in all areas of your life. You know how beautiful love is. So there is something about sex that, you know, doesn't need to be uh, just always, you know, what is the best return I can get? What is the best energy? What is the best sensation? What is the biggest thing I can get? It is a beautiful experience in life. And love experienced through the body in sex is the most beautiful experience of sex. For you as a human being, it is the most satisfying, the most enlightened, the most uh, beautiful, soulful experience to experience love in this moment through the body with your lover in the same way as you love experiencing love in other areas of your life. You know, in some way, just living an experience of love in sex enriches you in very deep ways that, you know, we can't really define or measure. It's not just getting love. You are expressing love. You are flowing with your love. You are love. This is really beautiful. When uh, spiritual teachers talk about achieving enlightenment, they describe being a state of love. You can be that in sex. So love in sex is the energy that we create in this moment. It is basically a state of mind throughout sex. It is a mind space that you're in. It is how you are treating the body of your lover throughout sex. How you are treating your lover in sex through their body. And as a result, your partner in sex feels used or feels worked like a machine or they feel loved after sex, physically loved through their body. And this may sound very simple, but each of those has profound consequences for how we feel from sex uh, in ourselves, in our energy, in our daily life, in our emotions. And if you multiply this by you know, a thousand times that sex would happen in a relationship, then you can imagine the effect of that. It is not one particular thing that you are doing in sex, like you know, staring into each other's eyes. Uh, it is how you're doing everything in sex. It is the quality of how you're doing everything in sex, the energy in it. Love in sex can be everywhere, in every touch, in every movement of your bodies. It is done with love. Uh, in the intercourse, it is done with love. In the oral sex, it is done with that energy of love. Everything, every phase of sex, everything you are doing in sex. There are actually a lot of techniques on how to make sex loving. And they are all sexual techniques. It's a whole category of sexual techniques. It is always a combination of physical technique and emotional technique. Uh, so physical technique is important to change because the mainstream technique is just not very nice for the body in general. And uh, you need to change a lot of physical technique and that will immediately make sex a lot more loving and the body will feel a lot more loved through your physical contact, will receive a lot more of that loving energy. But the main component, of course, is the emotional technique, the emotional energy that you're investing 
into that physical contact. And that is very much a technique in the same way as meditation or mindfulness or visualization or some kind of you know, mindset in sport are all techniques. So it is a form of focus, mindset, intention that you are putting into this moment and it very much becomes a technique. And actually there's a whole range of techniques and they all have their specifics. Uh, there are techniques for how to make the clitoris more loved, the penis more loved, uh, the vagina loved, the breasts loved. They're all different techniques, they all have their nuances. Um, there are techniques on how to make uh, physical touch with your hands much more loving, how to make the whole contact of your bodies more loving, how to make the movement of your bodies on each other more loving, how to make oral sex more empowered with love, how to have intercourse in a much more loving way. These are all different techniques. There are techniques and practices for foreplay, for arousal uh, in a loving way through love. In fact, uh, in a few different qualities of that energy. Uh, there are practices on how to make the passionate and intense sex more loving or how to leverage that really nourishing love in a more tranquil, low energy state. So the point is, love in sex is not some kind of an abstract idea, some kind of uh, thing that you evoke in your imagination and then everything changes in your sex. Of course not. It is a real practice. It is a real sexual technique. It is a range of techniques. It is a range of skills that you pick up. You get better at the skill of loving in sex. You are developing it. You grow in it. So love in sex is a practice that you actively do. And let me tell you, making sex more loving in a real powerful sexual way as a technique making sex more loving is the best thing you can do for your sex life the most productive the most effective thing if you really want to improve your sex life this is the most important thing you can do everything else is scraps you can explore other things too of course but this is going to be the most powerful addition to your sex life nothing else is going to come close when we bring love into sex we get the most powerful sexual energy we get the most effective sexual technique. We get the greatest experience as human beings and we get the biggest return from sex. What else are you going to do? Get an orgasm? Get an intense sensation? Get a release? Fine. Do you think it's going to give you more than all this enrichment, all this nourishment, all this real aliveness, this real communication, this real responsiveness of your body, this real energy in your body, and this really beautiful, human, soulful experience that you're getting out of sex. What else are you going to do in sex? Make it fun? Make it exciting? Yes, also very nice. But it's not going to give you so much as the experience of being really powerfully loved in sex. You know, and that's in the context of, you know, let's say casual sex. But if you have a long-term relationship, if you love somebody, you are in a loving relationship, then this is an experience of sex that generates love. It creates love. It feeds you with love. It feeds all the important parts of you that need to be fed with love. The impact of it is just impossible to uh, overestimate. It is the most important thing that you would need from your sex life with your partner who you love. What else can be more important? Achieving a sexual release is more important. Having fun with them is more important. Like it's all very nice to do, but it is never going to be more important than this experience of loving each other through each other's bodies. It's just the most valuable thing you can do. Being loved in sex through your body is going to be the most powerful experience on all levels of that experience that you can get out of sex. And look, I am not telling you something here that you didn't already know. We all know that love is the greatest experience in life. That is the most powerful experience in life. We all know this. So when you are loved in sex through your body, it is going to be the most powerful thing that you can get out of sex. We know that love is the most important thing in life. We know that it's the most important thing in our friendships, in our family, even in our trade, in our profession, in the things that we do. Even spiritual teachings and religions tell us that the force of the universe is love and God is love. So love is the most important thing, the most powerful thing in all areas of life except for sex, where the most important thing is the orgasm or excitement or passion. In this one area where we are in our maximum intimacy, completely merged with each other, naked in our body and soul, only in this area which we actually call lovemaking, love is nothing. It is not important. It is something 
bland and the most important thing is to relieve sexual tension or to have fun. But this is the story from our culture and this is the reason why I said in the beginning that uh, most people in loving relationships who love each other do not have loving sex. They don't feel love in sex. It is not because they hate each other. Of course they don't. They love each other. It is not because they're not loving. We are loving. We want to love. We want to be loved. So we feel no love in sex because it is not our intention. It is not our practice because we are busy doing other things that we were told to do. We are busy getting excitement, getting the orgasm, trying to make it hot, trying to make it passionate. We don't feel love in sex because we never made it the intention. We never created it in sex. That's why we don't feel it. And we get all those other things out of sex and there is this constant level of dissatisfaction of what is missing here? Why is it falling short? And why is it not sustainable? And most of all, people who love each other often don't feel love in sex because sex is work. They are working each other's bodies like a mechanism, trying to get to the orgasm because that is what they're supposed to do. So all sex is work. It feels like work. Your body feels worked. And that's why you didn't feel loved. So this is why your loving relationship is not going to translate into sex. It's not going to become love in sex because when you enter sex, you start acting from your beliefs about sex, what you should be doing in sex, what is the right thing to do here and how to do it. And this is where the experience of sex comes from. And this is why that myth that when you meet somebody you love, you're going to have loving sex with them, that completely doesn't work because what normally happens is that when we meet somebody we love, we just have the same kind of sex with them as we had with everybody else we didn't, in quotation marks, love. Because nothing has changed about the understanding of sex, the purpose of sex, by meeting this person. And if anything, it is very frustrating, but I've met somebody who I really love. Why is sex the same? So turn your attention towards love in sex. It's going to give you the most. And if you have had sex today that felt really loving to your body, that might not have contained passion or you know, particular kinds of pleasure or maybe even didn't have anything to do with the genitals and might not have contained an orgasm. But if you felt really loved in your body, then know that you got the most valuable, the most powerful thing from it. And don't let anybody else tell you that something else is more important. You know in your heart that there is nothing more powerful than love. And out of all areas in sex, it can't be something different. I'll leave you with this. Until next time.